Hi, this is Seth David for schoolofbookkeeping.com, bringing to you another special screencast. This time we're talking about how to run an uncleared checks report in QuickBooks Online. Just a taste of what's to come in our full featured course on bookkeeping fundamentals with QuickBooks Online. So let's say you've reconciled your bank account in QuickBooks Online, and you find that there's a large difference between the register balance and the bank balance, specifically and normally, uh, what you'll have is a much lower register balance. Why? Because of uncleared checks. Now if this goes on for a long period of time where these uncleared checks accumulate and never do clear, what can wind up happening is that that difference, that gap will widen as time goes on and at a certain point you, you're going to want to clean it up. You're going to want to figure out what checks should be voided because if they're more than a year old let's say then they probably should be voided and replaced or in some way, shape, or form, they need to be researched. The payees maybe need to be contacted and told, hey, you never cashed your check, and it's very possible and even likely that they'll appreciate it when you tell them, hey, you know, the money I paid you uh, hasn't actually been paid yet. So um, you can void those checks and issue new ones. So the question is, how do I determine, how do I discover exactly where that list is? Of course, when you're in the reconciliation screen, you can see very clearly where those old items are at the top you know, they haven't cleared. But outside of that, if you want to run a report and see, it's actually pretty easy to do. So we're going to come over here to reports. And you can probably start right here with the recommended and go straight to the balance sheet. And then just click on the bank balance. I'm going to click on the checking. And basically at this point, we just want to customize the report, right? So the dates are going to be all dates because I want all of time any checks that haven't cleared yet. Over here, notice we have the status option. Choose that, and then on cleared, we want uncleared. And then we're going to run the report. And this report total, ignore the balance, because that sort of doesn't really mean anything, but the 3,799 in theory should make up the exact difference between the bank balance and the book balance. This is also a way of doing the other side of the reconciliation that should be done that we've gotten away from over the years. But when they teach you how to do bank reconciliation in, in college, they teach you how to go from the books to the bank and from the bank back to the books. The way we do it in most accounting software is really just one way. We just kind of go from the books to the bank by putting in the bank's ending balance and reconciling what's in the books to what's in the bank. We, we tend not to go the other way. So this is how you go the other way. This is how you take the uh, book balance and say, okay, let's let's say the balance was uh, $1,201, but if I add back all the unclear checks, that should get me to agree with what the bank says I have in the bank. And that, my friends, is how you do it. That's how you run an uncleared checks report in QuickBooks Online. As always, I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web.